It's been about two hours and nothing bad has happened yet, so it's about time for something bad to happen. This walking thing. Uh, the beach is somewhere here. Somewhere, I think. Is it on First Island? I can't quite remember. Oh no, yeah, we're on First Island right now. Beach! You guys are the last to arrive. What are you dilly dallying for? <laughs> it's hard to keep you all waiting. Well, it's all right. More importantly, this is our only chance to talk between ourselves before that rabbit returns. <laughs> Let's talk. <laughs> now then, let me hear your initial impressions of this island. So, <laughs> I happen to notice numerous blocked-off bridges on the central island. Those are there so everyone doesn't get lost. I tried to cross one of them and that rabbit showed up and told me, so I'm telling the truth. No. So we don't get lost? Is this island really so big? <laughs> but if you look at it in depth, it's just a normal island, right? It's got a resort and everything. Well, not that I've ever been to a resort before, but... Um, there's also a big ranch! Um, there's also a large supermarket too. It looks like it stocks everything from food to living amenities. Mm. The hotel was really nice too. It'll be great if we can stay there. <laughs> the restaurant inside the hotel was also very nice. It seemed to cater to a more plebeian taste. <laughs> can you guys listen to what I want to say too? I found something very important on this island. Girls! Very, very cute girls! Ha! <laughs> All over the place! Gross! I'm getting goosebumps! Huh. All of your fools. I can't believe no one has mentioned the most serious truth. Huh? The most serious truth? Arie. If no one here has realized it, you're all bigger fools than I thought. What, that we can't escape? Huh? What'd you say, fat bastard? Don't be talking on big and shit! <laughs> Small dogs shouldn't bark so loud. I agree. The most serious truth? What does he mean? Hmm? Is this our chance to talk to everybody again? Huh? Who will die first? Who will be a killer? Who will be a victim? Who knows? The most important thing in the world is... Nothing is more important than a cute girl! Okay... That Byakuya, he sure is beating around the bush. Every time Byakuya runs his mouth, Kuyuhiko looks ready to kill him. What if boys always have to provoke each other like that? I'm not sure I can answer that. Despite how big this island is, I can't believe it's uninhabited. Just what in the world is going on here? I do hope the supposed truth Byakuya has found will provide us with a hint. <laughs> the most serious truth, huh? That sounds so deep! I have no choice but to confront Buyakusha directly to find out! She's already given that guy a nickname. I guess in that sense, she's pretty amazing. I do not really understand what he means. Everyone, please be quiet! <sighs> I don't know why, but I feel compelled to be quiet. I guess this is what being royalty is all about. <laughs> Did he really call me small dog? Wow, he's angry. I shouldn't try to talk to him. You are a small dog. Mm, the most serious truth... <sighs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, fell asleep. Don't fall asleep. How can she be tired right now? Hey, gaming is tiring, okay? I'm terribly sorry. I haven't discovered anything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm such a useless fool. I'm sorry. She doesn't need to cry and apologize so much. You sure talk big. Is being an affluent progeny that big of a deal? 
No, no. Hey, hey, if you're gonna talk to me about something boring, I'm just gonna go swim, okay? Don't just do your thing. Usami's coming here, too. Mm. Then let's hurry up. Chop, chop. What a free spirit. Nani, nani? I wonder what Byakuya found. Since he's acting so mysterious and stuff, he probably found something big. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. It seems everyone's explored the island. And just like Usami said, there seems to be no danger. Byakuya said he found something though. I wonder what it is. <laughs> I see. So that guy figured it out as well. Hmm, you know too, Gundam? What is it? If you wish to know, you must pay my price. After all, this world is ruled by the law of equivalent exchange. However, is someone like you capable of offering a tribute that would satisfy a tyrant such as myself? He probably doesn't know what it is. Okay, well, I have to say that first impressions... To be honest, nobody in particular sticks out to me. I guess Ibuki? Ibuki is really crazy and uh, not sure if that's a good crazy or a bad crazy though. Uh, who else am I kind of interested in? Mahiru? Mahiru, she's not really... She doesn't stand out, but she's really normal among everyone here, so I'm interested in her because of that. But other than that, I'm not really into anyone right now. But then again, even at the beginning of Danganronpa 1, I wasn't really into Kyoko either, so... Who knows? Hey, what's the most serious truth? Did, did you find out something about this island? <laughs> Have you all gone to the park that's across the bridge? The park with all the weird bronze statue of all those creepy animals, right? Iga. When I saw it, I remembered a story I'd heard before. There's an island in the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful island paradise where summer never ends. It consists of a central island surrounded by five different islands. It's also said that five holy animals symbolize each of those surrounding islands. Huh? Kike. The island's name is... Jabberwock Island. Could this island be... Jabberwock Island? Is that the name of this island? Sure is. Still, there is something on my mind. In fact, according to what I've heard, Jabberwock Island is already... <laughs> Never mind. Hold it right there. That's a rather incomplete story you've told us. No need to shout. I'll let you know once I obtain more information. Mm. I don't really care what this island's called. Nico Nico Island or Papua Island, whatever. Doesn't change the fact that we've all got to live here, right? <laughs> Living together on this tropical island sure is exciting. I'm super looking forward to it. <laughs> right on. This ain't a bad school at all. Hey, you guys. Hmm, I like this island too! Can't say the same about the rest of you Cretans! Huh? Did I hear something? Mm. I'm still worried, but I don't feel as worried as I did earlier. <laughs> yeah, since there's no real danger or inconvenience, I feel like this wouldn't be a problem. Hey, listen to what you guys are saying! We need to stay calm and think about this! We're all here to attend Hope's Peak Academy, right? But we're living on an island like this instead. No matter what, it's completely weird. Why don't you stop talking for a while? Go cool your head off or something. I feel like this guy has been making a lot of references to other works in all his lines. Earlier, the equivalent exchange. FMA, maybe? This one I feel like might be something too, but I'm not entirely sure without seeing the Japanese original. Huh? Plus, even if we wanted to leave, there's no way we can. <laughs> there's no ship, and the planes are just for show. From what I've discovered, there's no way to contact the outside world either. In conclusion, it would be impossible to call for help. <laughs> then why don't we just swim home? There's no way we can swim that far! <laughs> show some spirit! <laughs> I'm telling you, that's impossible! Then, what if we cut down some trees and made a raft? No, uh, 
You can't do that. That's the biggest of no-nos. Please recall the guidelines of this school trip. Littering is not allowed. Let us coexist with this island's bountiful nature and mutual prosperity. Got it? I want everyone to get along and live peacefully on this beautiful tropical island. What's with these rules? Who cares about that? Stop. This rabbit seems to be rather finicky about these so-called rules. Based on that, what if your actions place everyone here in danger? The word danger is a bit too much! I wouldn't do something like that! Hajime, I understand how you feel, but you need to calm down a little, okay? For now, as long as we don't do anything weird, it seems there's no danger. And as long as we gather the hope fragments, we'll be able to get off this island soon. You're all just gonna believe that? <sighs> There's no other choice but to believe. For now, that is. Nana. Anyway, Usami, what's this present you mentioned in your announcement earlier? Wah. Oh, that's right! Well, of course I didn't forget! <laughs> this is it! Don't be upset! I prepared one for you all, so don't worry! <laughs> what is this? It's a Usami strap! If you squeeze the tummy, it talks! I don't need this. Isn't it cute? Love, love! What a waste of time. Man, and I got my hopes up too. I'm ashamed I even had my hopes up! Really, I think it's pretty cute, especially how the ears look like a rabbit's. Well, Usami does mean rabbit, you know. Regardless, a large number of Usami straps ended up on the beach anyway. As I figured, after everyone received their strap, they just tossed them on the beach. <laughs> hey, you can't take nature with trash! That's littering! See? Even you think they're trash! <laughs> oh, this is so sad! Usami sadly picked up the straps and looked at us with a lonely expression on her face. <laughs> and I even prepared one more present too, but now I don't want to give it to you bad kids. Hmm? You have something else? <laughs> well, compared to the Usami strap, it's not that big of a deal. Basically, I've prepared a motive for everyone. What? A motive? <laughs> That's right, a motive for everyone to get along. We've come all this way to a tropical island, so I thought it'd be great to do something island-themed. <laughs> like what? Are you thinking of throwing a big party or something? <laughs> Correct! <laughs> Is it a festival? Or maybe a miniature shrine? How wonderful! <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Sonia. <laughs> My lords are still full of poison, and I'd appreciate it if you could suck it out with your mouth. Fuck off! Knock it off, Teru Teru. Oh, your tenderloins? You betcha. Just ignore him, Sonia. If we're talking about fun parties on a tropical island, maybe it should be a barbecue or something? Oh, a campfire sounds fun, too. Let's find a hoop snake and kill it! Is looking for one not enough for you? It seems everyone has different ideas, but if we're gonna be at the ocean, then first... This is what it's all about! A swimming bag? <laughs> then that means... That's right! I have swimsuits for everyone! Well, school swimsuits actually. I hope that's okay. Uh, are you telling us to go swimming? In a situation like this? It's not like I'm ordering you guys to swim or anything. It's just, if you want to go swimming, you can. There's no way I'm going swimming. There's no way anyone would be so thoughtless as to go swimming in a situation like this. Speak for yourself. Yeah. Huh? Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. With weather this nice, there's no way I'm gonna pass on swimming. I agree. Even my loins agree, see? 
Your tenderloins? I understand. <laughs> Seriously, don't try to understand. <laughs> How long has it been since I last swam in the sea? <laughs> Alright, let's go change! Those of us who were excited to go swimming went right to get their swimsuits from Usami. And ran straight to the hotel to change. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Hajime? Shinoto-kun. <laughs> I understand how you feel, and I won't force you to do anything you don't want to do. <laughs> but if you feel up for it, I'd be happy if you came along too. After he said that, Nagito ran over to the hotel as well. There's no danger on this island. There's nothing tragic waiting to happen on this island. Is that really true? If so, am I actually wrong? <laughs> Well, not everyone is interested in swimming. Even the gymnast is not interested. Hmm. You're not gonna swim? <laughs> nah, it's more fun to step on the crabs walking on the beach. I see. This kid is kind of twisted. Does she torture animals for fun? So, it looks like she's staying too. That's unexpected. She seems more like the active type. Hey, you're not gonna swim? Huh? Of course I am! Why? Uh, well, are you not gonna change? Then why didn't you go with the others to change? You're not gonna swim naked, are you? I don't need to change. All I gotta do is take off my clothes. No, what about your swimsuit? There's no way I'm gonna wear something as embarrassing as a school swimsuit. She's just wrong about so many things. She's blushing about all the wrong things. So, let's hurry and swim! With those words, Akana quickly began taking off her- Whoa, hey! Hey there! Shameful behavior like that is a no-no! If you're gonna swim, you gotta wear a swim shirt! <laughs> what a pain! You're not gonna swim? Nami. I'm like really, really sleepy right now. I, I don't particularly get the impression that she likes active things because she's a gamer. <laughs> I see. It'd be a problem if you fell asleep while you were swimming. I'd probably drown. More like definitely drown. But to be sleepy in a situation like this, she sure got some bold nerves. <laughs> ah, speaking of which, everyone has returned! Azusami said that, I turned around and... I saw a group of people wearing swimsuits, jumping into the ocean and shouting with joy. They're very carefree, aren't they? <laughs> Yay, the sea! <laughs> ah, the water is so cool! It feels great! Too salty! This water is too salty! It's not going easy on me! You were looking for something else, weren't you? Oh! Oh, okay! Uh, sure! <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a resort. There's no other way to describe it. Seeing the other students having all this fun. I... I... Yup, yup, I'm very happy. Everyone seems to be getting along with each other, so I'm very happy. I thought this would be hard until everyone got used to this, but they're all acting like ultimates. <laughs> Let's keep up the pace and all do our best to peacefully enjoy this heart-throbbing school trip. What's this feeling of alienation? I can't really put it into words. Am I really... Wrong about all this? 
Fine. I just gotta do it, right? Then I'll do it. That's right, I'll do it. Haliri. Hajime, did something happen? Hey, hand me one of those swimsuits. Jeez, I can't believe I was the only one worrying. I feel like an idiot. I don't care anymore. I'm gonna go for it. Uh... Well, us knowing what we already know, it just makes this miserable to watch. I'm gonna seriously enjoy myself and have fun. Hey, hey, wait for me! Let me join in the fun! Wait, huh? Suddenly, the sky grew cloudy. Huh? What is this? What's happening? These strange clouds, this doesn't look natural at all. Uh, hey, what's going on? What did you do? This is obviously not right. It was sunny just a few minutes ago. <laughs> what is this? Huh? I didn't do anything. What is all this? There's no way. Something like this shouldn't be happening. And at that exact moment... Just when it seemed like this couldn't get any more confusing, it suddenly happened. Hey. I prefer your voice a lot more than Usami's. So, welcome back. Welcome back, buddy. That voice was so laid back and so gleeful that it seemed out of place. But it was different than Usami's. As if an endless storm of malice could be felt raging behind that laid back voice. The moment I felt it, my body shuddered. Surprised? You were totally surprised. Right? No then, sorry to keep you all waiting for so long. Let's leave all this worthless entertainment behind. It's time for the main attraction. You guys better hustle over to Jabberwock Park. Could it be this voice? Wait, you know him? If this is... Oh, this is very bad. I gotta do something. It's all up to me. Hey, wait. Hey, Usami might not actually be bad. Huh. It seems that was an unusual occurrence. Ooh. It's best if we go to... Jabberwock Park, was it? Let's hurry. Hey, wait! But what about everyone who's swimming? There's no time to wait for them to change. I have a bad feeling about this. I'll head over first. Hear <laughs> the footsteps! Shit, just what the hell is going on? I'll be really pissed if it's something fucking stupid. What is this? What the hell's going on? Okay, Jabberwock Park, right? Oh? Why are you not going? Uh, Boo, there's just too many Mr. Krabs. Done it. Fine, I'll just step on them later. You crabs better run while you still can. That girl is seems kind of sadistic. I don't I don't trust her. Well, this is totally creepy. Everyone's still swimming. Haven't they noticed that, you know, shit is going down? I don't know. Yeah, that's I just noticed, but the transition is totally like a computer simulation, too. As we arrived at Jabberwock Park, Usami's shouting voice could be heard ringing throughout the park. Where are you? Where are you hiding? Hiding? Who are you talking to? Huh? Hey, hey, where are you? Show yourself!
Hello. Well, hello there. Thank you all for waiting. Long time no see, guys. Long time no see? Have we met you before? I am Monokuma. I'm the headmaster of this academy. Him! Now that I've made my dashing appearance, the first thing I need to say is... This is so freaking lame! Lame, I say! Lamer than the lamest lame sauce! Oh, wait. Lame sauce? Is it tasty? Just as I thought, it was you! But how? Oh my god, these two mascots' voices are gonna be the death of me. <laughs> Why is Monokuma here? Monokuma? I oh, shut up! I'm leaving, you know, and I'm about ready to bar thanks to your lukewarm attitude. Just watch with this heart throbbing school trip crap anyway. I'm bored, so hopelessly bored! This just ain't fun at all! You better knock off this first right now! You gotta make this, you know, meet the demands of the world! Nobody wants to see high school students living calm and peaceful lives! What everyone wants to see is... <laughs> other people's misery and despair! <laughs> what the hell's with this stuffed animal? Nothing he's saying makes any damn sense! What's going on? What is that thing? Be careful, everyone! Stay back and leave this to me! I don't know why Monokuma is here, but as long as I have this magic stick... Yeah! Opening! Oh, they're gonna juke it out! Why are the panties flying out? <laughs> What an ass! Now then, what to do after my flawless victory? First of all, you're too plain. White rabbits are far too plain. So, I'm gonna make you in my image! <laughs> what is even happening? Monokuma's fit for combat? Who's. Hey, wait, who's Usami controlled by? Ah. Oh. She was actually really cute before. What the hell happened? Oh, she has a diaper and everything now. I feel so bad for her, actually. What is this? I'm not supposed to look weird like this. Change me back to normal. My mind defying your big brother's fashion sense. Is Mono me a little troublemaker? You even changed her name? Big brother? Monomi? Your current position is too wishy-washy, so I'm sending you to be my little sister, Monomi. Is that nice of you to make her your sister? I... I don't... okay. Though it's only an external setting after all. Why do I have to be your little sister? Big sister then? You want to be the older sister that got separated at birth? <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't really feel right. Yep, you're definitely more like a little sister. Uh, well, between the two, I would have to agree here. So, that's how it's gonna be, Monomi. From now on, if you ever disobey me, I will never forgive you. Wow, even the display changed to Monomi. 
Oh, on the side. On the side. Hey, I won't let you make up your own shadings. More hints about this being a computer. Oh, oh my god. Huh, it's a computer simulation, but yet things still hurt. How about that? Now you've learned your lesson. W what is this? Living stuffed animals fighting each other. That's like completely insane. <laughs> if only I still had the magic stick, I could have totally beaten the awful Monokuma. It's your fault for leaving yourself open. Even a one second opening is life threatening on the battlefield. Hey, what's with this stupid performance? Hmm? Who freaking knows? <sighs> but it's obvious something bad is happening. What? What is this? What's going on? <laughs> huh? Now she's all weird looking. Weird looking? She matches me now, you know? How insensitive. <gasps> There's more of them? What does this mean? What is that black and white tanuki? I'm not a tanuki! I'm a bear! I'm Monokuma! I don't understand it myself, but a new stuffed animal appeared? I mean, why is that stuffed animal even talking? Seriously, I'm not a stuffed animal! I'm Monokuma, the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy! Monokuma? Hmm. Did you say headmaster? Hey, Nagito's reaction just now didn't seem like someone who's met Monokuma before. Regardless, it appears everyone has gathered. Now then, as the headmaster, I shall make a formal declaration. From this point onward, the killing school trip will now commence. Killing school trip? A school trip where everyone gets along has no stimulation at all. And it's so damn boring. Nobody wants to play a game like that. You guys agree with me, right? So, let's begin our killing school trip. Naturally, you guys are the contestants. Killing contestants? What are you saying? I will absolutely positively not allow such bloody events. <gasps> Why are you such a... Oh my god, Monokuma is a complete asshole. Jeez, you're pretty sure it's tiny, Monomi. How many times do I have to tell you? Pay attention this time. Except in manga, a little sister is never smarter than her big brother. <laughs> now then, we got off topic for a little while, so let's go back to the explanation of the killing school trip. What do you mean, killing school trip? Uh, isn't it obvious? You guys are gonna go kill each other. Yeah. Kill each other? I see. Did you kill each other? What are you saying? That's impossible. Yeah. Well, don't you think it's kind of lame and boring that you can't leave the island unless you all get along? So, I'm changing the rules. Yeah. If you want off this island, then please kill one of your friends. And then, make it through the class trial without getting caught. <sighs> class trial? That's right. The class trial is the real charm of this killing school trip. If one of you gets murdered, the surviving members must participate in the class trial. At the class trial, there will be a showdown between the blackened killer and the other spotless students. During the trial, you'll present your arguments about who you think the blackened is. The outcome will be decided by popular vote, and if you arrive at the correct answer, only the blackened killer will be punished. The rest may continue their school trip. 
However, if you choose poorly, then the one who got away with the murder will survive, and the rest of you will receive your punishment. As far as the class trial rules go, that's all there is to it. Somebody. Which means if you kill someone and make it through the class trial, you get to live and leave this island. However, if you are found guilty during the class trial, then you will be punished. It's a familiar but simple rule, right? Familiar? I, who is controlling this Monokuma right now? Does whoever's controlling this retain, or like, are they familiar with what happened the first time around? I say first time around, but I don't know if it happened before or after this. You keep repeating that word punish over and over. What's the deal with that? Oh, I remember Hifumi asking about this in the first game too. Basically, it's an execution. Execution? The pleasing punishment that follows the class trial! This is one of the perks of the killing school trip. What sort of spine tingling punishments will we see? I can't help it! I'm already getting excited! There may be even some unique punishments, like impaling you through the head with the thingamajig claw! Any method of killing is fine. Popular ones like bludgeoning, stabbing, strangling, and poisoning. To shooting, beating, running over, burning, bombing, slashing, drowning, electrocution, crushing, cursing. Please, choose whichever killing method you prefer. No time limit, so you can kill as you please. It's an all-you-can-murder buffet. A theme park of murder. That's what this killing school trip is all about. I clutched my chest without realizing it. With each beat of my heart, a sharp, stabbing pain coursed through my body. I didn't understand what was happening to me. Hmm, is this a normal reaction? Like a normal nervous reaction, or are you reacting to something more? Don't fuck with me! That's right! Who on earth would kill someone? Ordering anyone to kill, whether or not you kill someone is entirely up to you. But be careful, youth doesn't last forever. It'll be too late if you guys wait till you're in your 40s to start killing each other. Oh, I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. I don't believe any of this. What if nobody ever gets murdered? Does that mean we'll never leave this island? Who knows? Anyway, I'd like for you all to go through with this killing school trip in a healthy and positive manner. Wait just a minute! Why do we have to do this? Well, it's obvious! There's a reason you all need to kill each other! Eh? Hold on. You've been running your mouth for quite some time now. I don't want to get violent, but if I do, I have no idea what might happen. What, a fight? Do I need to beat the crap out of the black and white bear? Who would dare try to kill? I'll put a stop to it, with force if necessary. If you keep saying stupid stuff, the athletes in our group are gonna lose their patience! Does that include you? Hi, hi. Oh, is that so? Well, I guess I expected this reaction. If you guys wanna do things by force, then I'll have to fight back with a little force of my own. Force, what are you gonna do? Surge, oh gods who dwell between light and darkness! In accordance with our contract, I summon thee now! Come forth, mono beasts! <gasps> what is happening? Oh my god! Uh, 
I've seen lots of strange and surprising things since I first arrived at this island. But still, the phenomenon taking place right in front of me was blatantly out of this world. Huh? Nani? What? Why did the statue move? That's no statue! They're mono beasts! There's nothing mono about them. M -m Monster! No! I just said they're mono beasts! The strange thing about genuine surprise is that when it happens, your voice won't let you express it. I was forced to accept that. The sudden appearance of a monster might be normal in anime and video games. And that's precisely why I couldn't grasp the reality of this situation. I couldn't even feel fear. All I could do was stand aghast. This can't be! This is just too weird! Masaka, am I having a nightmare or something? <laughs> a nightmare, he says! He just admitted his brain is a total flower patch! Jeez, you guys sure are a skeptical bunch! If something doesn't fit within your narrow notions of common sense, you just deny it outright! How stupid! Ignorant cavemen are better than you all! Classifying events according to the genre is a disease of the modern age. Everyone, please stay back! I I will protect everyone! Oh, you're a good guy! Even at the cost of my own life, I will protect everyone! Huh? What's this? I know, this is nausea. Your sickly sweet sense of justice makes me want to puke. Alrighty then, it's decided. You'll be my example to everyone. No, don't kill her. She's so, she's a cinnamon roll. No. Please, no. Please, let's have her around. Oh my God. No. This poor thing. I'm... I'm in depression right now. You know what? I was actually starting to like that thing a little bit. You know, in contrast to the very evil Monokuma. That thing, even though I hate its voice, it was, you know, it was like a nice cute little thing that, you know, was on our side. <laughs> what is that? It's only the first stage and Monomi is already dead. Is that a demon? Or perhaps it's a weapon from the future? Even the hamsters are worried. <laughs> Mono beasts are dreadful weapons of destruction. The sudden appearance of a monster. Even though a life threatening monster appeared, not a single one of us tried to run away. Oh, gee, I wonder why that is. It's not that we didn't realize it was a monster, we were just. Vastly out of our elements. We had never experienced anything like this before and had no idea how to deal with it. That reality was very lethal at this particular moment. Boop, boop, boop. That's right, this is what I wanted. This feeling of despair gave it an example was totally the right call. Give her back. <laughs> Unlike the exuberantly laughing Monokuma, we were completely frozen. As though we'd forgotten how to breathe. We just stood there, horrified. We were powerless, no different than ants washed away in a storm. Now then, I believe I made my point. Just so we're clear, you guys can't defy me. 
木図になりたくなかったら僕には決して逆らわないことだね If you don't want to end up as fish food, you better not disobey me. This Monokuma seems to be quite a bit more forceful than the other one. Just so you know, I don't feel mercy or sympathy, because I'm a bear after all. An excuse like I got high up this tropical atmosphere won't work on me at all. Also, in addition to the killing school trip, I've already updated the e handbook. There, the rules for the killing school trip are written, so you better read them thoroughly. Boop, 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 boop. Ignorance of the rules is no excuse either. Well, that's also true of any society, really. Now then. <laughs> Enjoy the remainder of this liberating and harsh school trip. After he said his piece, Monokuma and his mono beasts vanished before our eyes. In truth, I was horribly tired. Everything was just so unreasonable. I didn't even care if this was the aftermath. Everyone else looked the same. We all had this tired expression on our pale faces. Son? What just happened? Eto. Um, um. I just won't believe it. That's it. That's all there is to it. <laughs> It'll be one thing if we were up against a human or even an animal. What the hell can we do against a monster like that? It's impossible. Why is something impossible happening? Well, it's not really impossible. Hey, mechanic guy, those mono beasts look like robots. Maybe you can do something about them. Those mono beasts, or whatever they're called, are machines. Thus, Monokuma must also be the same. As long as they're machines, it means someone made them and is controlling them. Who can be responsible? Why were we put into this unexplainable situation? Hey, who is it? Who? <laughs> it could be anyone. It's not like I believe it anyway. There's no way I'd believe something like that. More importantly, are you guys hungry? Let's stop thinking about this and just eat. <sighs> You can eat first. No matter how confused or upset you are, I don't mind. However, remember this. I don't know who in the world is orchestrating this, but... We don't need to be cautious of those machines, or even of whoever's controlling them. More than anything, we must be cautious of... Each other. I feel like... Sure, Byakuya, his voice is the same, but... In a few ways, he's acting markedly different from the old one. Like, he's not constantly shouting, Hey, commoners, blah 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 blah, and even here, he's not too unbearable, so... Hmm, not sure about what's going on. Being brought to a tropical island with complete strangers in order to kill each other to escape. That creates fear in our minds and the desire to escape that hopeless fear is our worst enemy. See the old Yakuya! Well, before he went through anything in Danganronpa 1, I guess, he would always be like, Oh, I'm looking forward to this game, so exciting, I want to use my detective skills, blah blah blah, but here he's... You know, taking on a leadership role and trying to get everyone together. We looked around at each other's faces. It was obvious from looking at their expressions. Everyone was forced to admit the truth of what he just said. We had to be honest with ourselves and admit that we also had that potential. Only a student who kills a classmate can escape this island. Which means, in order to escape this hopeless situation, we must sacrifice a person. However, 
There's a possibility that a killing may never even occur, but even I'm no different. So, can I be truly confident that something like this isn't gonna happen? No, there's no way I can know for sure. Eh, one of the bigger differences between Hajime and Makoto, Makoto is pretty certain that he would never kill anybody, but this guy is more grounded in reality, less naive, understanding that you can never say never. In this nightmare of a situation, I don't have the confidence to say that outright. Once you're suspicious of something, you'll start to be suspicious of everything. Even of yourself. That's why it felt so hopeless. That day became a day unlike any other. A day which held a more significant meaning. It was a special day, a very meaningful day, full of despair. That was the beginning. The killing school trip had begun, and this tropical island was the stage. Welcome to Dongan Island, panic at the heart-throbbing school trip, prologue, end! 16 students. 16, oh my god. Faux show broken wand? Poor Monomi! Poor kid! Or I don't know if it's a kid or not, but poor thing.